Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So today we're going to be doing our seventh part of the 100% walkthrough on Dark Souls 3. So today we're going to be doing the Catacombs of Carthus, uh, which is straight after doing the Abyss Watchers uh, boss battle. So this episode is going to be quite short, so as soon as we get in, uh, to the right we can drop down. But we're not actually going to drop down because really the only reason we want to drop down there is if you want to get through the level quicker. And we don't want to do that since we're getting inside the items. There's no items down there, just a few enemies. So yeah, so at the end we can pick up our first item. Just watch out for the uh, invisible rolling enemies on the bridge. It's pretty annoying. Uh, anyway, in this big room, I'm going to call this the middle room because we're going to be coming back here uh, a few times. So first we're going to head up to the left. Uh, turn around on ourselves and uh, get this item all the way at the end over here, which is a soul, I believe. Uh, come back to the stairs we just came up, but we're not going to go back down quite yet. And uh, we're going to come over here uh, to the right. Watch out for this little trap on the floor. It will fire arrows out, kind of like Sen's Fortress style traps. There's a lot of them in this level. And we're going to pick this other soul up over here. Uh, continue down this path the only way we can, coming to the right. Once we get into this biggish kind of room, uh, before picking that item up over there, we're going to stick to the right and open this illusionary wall. Uh, obviously, these enemies aren't dead. I haven't, I didn't, I couldn't clear this area out, obviously, because I didn't want to break the illusionary wall uh, without recording. But uh, we're going to get the tome over there just to upgrade our pyromancies, I believe it is, and uh, take out this other enemy. Uh, over here, there's nothing, just uh, a few archers, I believe there was, uh, just to take them out. Anyway. Now we're going to come back uh, to the biggest kind of room where the illusionary wall was and get that sharp gem just there and continue forwards. Uh, as you probably noticed, we've actually came out in the uh, main room I mentioned before that we're going to be coming back to. But this time, instead of going up to the left, we are at the bottom right. But uh, we're, going to be, we're going to be wanting to go down here anyway. So before heading into that door over there, to the left in the corner, there's going to be um, a Titanite Shard, I believe. Uh, now we are going to go over here to the left and um, down here in the corner to the right we are actually going to encounter Alnri if, if we have been doing her or his quest line. Uh, she will ask uh, if we know where our companion is and all that so uh, at this point you probably don't so you just you, the only option you've really got is to, is to say no. But uh, as you know even on her quest line if you want her to live through the game you need to not tell her where he is anyway. So yeah but that's that's another video. Um, so yeah we're going to continue uh, through here where this crystal listed is. And also there's going to be the, an item over here. Just watch out because I didn't clear the enemies um, on that first bit to the right where we dropped down like I said. Uh, so they'll be, they'll be shooting arrows at you so just be careful. Anyway, now we're going to go back to our main room, and this time we're going to take the main middle path down the middle stairs. There is an item halfway down those stairs, which I'll be picking up in a second. I just wanted to make sure I was clear of the boulder, or if you can call that a boulder, yeah, whatever. Uh, once we've got the chance anyway, run up and get the item. You can technically get it on the way down because you're actually safe from the boulder just there. But yeah, there was quite a few people firing shit at me, so I didn't really want to risk it. But anyway... Uh, once we're down the bottom where the boulder will hit this wall down here or this gate, we want to wait a few minutes until it will break. So for the uh, boulder to break, all you have to do is find a skeleton with the hat. Uh, in this case, it will be in the corner in front of us to the left. Uh, it's kind of not that well hidden. So yes, kill him and that will allow the boulder to break. So uh, anyway, continuing through this uh, passage, really, really can't get lost in here. This, it's actually a really small map or small area. Even though you may think it's not, but yeah, continuing through this path, the only path we can take to the right, there's going to be a load of pots with hexes and shit on it. And also before this item, there's actually going to be a trap, uh, an arrow trap, so be careful. Uh, and we're going to get the Carthus Milk Ring, which is the ring that allows us to invisible roll. And if we've got Dexterity class, it's pretty good because it boosts our Dexterity up quite a bit. So yeah, so we're going to continue all the way to the end and turn to the right. Bef uh, right in front of that, so there was actually a trap, so be careful of that. Uh, we're not going to be jumping down this hole since we're going to be getting down there a uh, different way. Uh, picking the amber up the other side of the hole. Coming through here to the right. Just watch out. Uh, there's going to be another boulder here. So don't don't run like a madman to get that uh, item just there. And just wait until the boulder comes past slowly. Uh, this boulder also breaks which we'll be showing in a second. But this one seems to take a lot longer than the other one. As we pick up that large titanite shard. Anyway, before continuing through the level, there's going to be a bonfire over here to the left. As you can see, the boulders do spawn if you reset the map, because uh, the boulder the other side of the gate is the one we broke earlier on to get the bone shard. So yeah, 
so they definitely do spawn. Anyway, uh, as soon as the boulder will allow it, we are going to continue through the level to the uh, left down here and take the stairs. You can just go up to where we was before and jump down the hole. would technically be in the same area, but it's a bit more confusing for the guide if we did it like that. Anyway, first we're going to come to the right of where the boulder is, uh, down this uh, little passageway here. This is a shortcut that will be opening very soon to the boss. Uh, I believe there was an ember down there, but anyway, uh, if you come to this area in ember form, you will be invaded by this guy. Uh, he will actually drop you the um, Night Slayer's ring, which is pretty good for PvP. But don't worry if you don't get invaded in this area or you're not in ember form and you kill the boss, uh, because we will be able to get the ring uh, later on if we go to Smoldering Lakes uh, by killing the guy what has the Fume Ultra Greatsword, which is kind of the same guys that just invaded us. Uh, but yeah, I did a whole video on that. Uh, so yeah, so if we continue all the way uh, to the end to the left, we're going to get the Carthus Blood Ring, which is pretty good if you're trying to dodge and stuff because it gives us more invincibility frames, but we will sacrifice a bit of defense, so just be careful if you go for that. It is pretty good. I, most of the time I wear it because I'm not exactly somebody who uses a shield on the Soul Series. So uh, I kind of cleared this area out, so uh, the skeleton with the hat to break this boulder is actually in front of us to the right up the stairs as soon as we go up the stairs. That's the next place we're going to be going, but obviously he's going to be dead, so we're going to pick up the dark gem. Uh, but yeah, he's not. He, you can't miss him if you go up the stairs to the right where we're going next. Uh, instead of getting the item, or sorry, before getting the item on that column there, we're going to come up these stairs to the right. And at the end, we are going to come all the way to the right. Watch out not to step on that little trap there and to get these. Uh, we're not heading down quite yet because uh, over here behind the stairs, we are going to get uh, a Titanite, large Titanite shard, I believe. Yeah, there we go. And at the end, we are going to get some ashes that we can take back to the Merchant Filing Shrine and upgrade Hellwares. So come down here. There's a really obvious hidden wall here, and this will just take us back down to where the item was in the middle of the lane against the columns. So now we're going to go all the way to the end and come through this little cave or rocky area through the right. Uh, there's no getting lost now. We're pretty much at the end of the uh, level, but before that, there's a few things we want to do. So over here to the left, there's going to be an item. Uh, just watch out for the enemy on this little platform. He can be a bitch sometimes, but uh, you can actually knock him off quite easy as well. So over here, uh, there's going to be two items, and also we can activate this uh, shortcut, which um, will lead to the place where we picked up the ember, and also that guy invaded us uh, will be just here. So it's a pretty good shortcut to uh, get to the boss quickly. And yeah, so there's one, well, there's two more things actually we want to do before fighting the boss. And one of them is to come up this um, passageway to the right of the bridge. And um, here we will uh, meet Anri one more time, still asking about a companion. So like I said before, if you wanted to continue her quest line and keep her alive, even if you did find him, which will be down at Smoldering Lakes, you want to actually say no. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you say yeah, she will go back down and she will die and you'll get a sword, I believe, or whatever. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a separate video of that anyway, so yeah. So now we're going to come across the bridge, um, the wooden bridge, which will break if you hit it enough and all these skeletons will come across and die, whatever. Uh, so what you want to do is wait a few seconds before um, leaving because uh, you will actually be able to press X and climb down the bridge. There's going to be a Falchion, Falchion just here. Uh, continuing through this area, we'll get to this area where there's going to be a mimic to the left, which will drop us the dark blade or the black blade. I don't know. I think it's black blade actually. And also, we're going to get uh, this demon, which will give us a demon. So, so you can actually make them fight each other, and normally the mimic will win, but uh, sometimes you get unlucky. Like there, the mimic tried to grab him, and obviously that didn't work against him, so the mimic died. But whatever. Once once they're both dead, you'll get soul of a demon. I got lucky there and got his um, headpiece, but yeah, you'll get the katana. Um, so before continuing down down these stairs, there will be uh, two items down here. I believe one of them is a large titanite shard, and the other one is uh, just a soul. And uh, continuing forwards, before we get to the bonfire, uh, at the end we are going to get the uh, witch's ring, and I'm not sure if it's tome or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, uh, we get to this bonfire. If we want to continue down here, we'll get to the optional area, which is Smoldering Lakes, which will be next episode, so we're not going to do that yet. That's where we will find Anri's companion too. So yeah. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and fight the boss now, which is across the wooden bridge. Uh, open the door and uh, just, just press X uh, on the chalice. 
and the boss battle will start. There is actually one item in the boss battle, so you, I recommend getting it as quickly as possible before actually fighting the boss, or before he actually kind of appears. And yeah, and that's it, guys. Once you kill him, you'll get his soul. And yeah, that has been uh, that has been episode seven of our hundred percent walkthrough. Uh, the Catacombs of Carthus. Uh, let me know if you missed anything. Um, if you did miss anything and this was helpful, please go to like and subscribe. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter. You can support the channel directly through Patreon, which is much appreciated. And yeah, guys, see you next video.